pinning a post to the top of your journal feed in Seesaw is now active. To do this, you can go into any post in your journal feed, maybe something like your weekly schedule. And again, you can continue to reuse that weekly schedule post just by going to the three dots in the bottom right corner of your screen, tapping on that, tapping copy and edit. This makes a second copy of your schedule template. Now you can come in and tap on each item. And if you've locked that item down, go to the three dots, unlock it. And here you can then tap back into the item and update things like your dates. So if this schedule is for Monday, then I can go back to the three dots and lock that back down again to prevent um, students from moving that around if they're swiping their fingers across the page. I could come back in here to my activities and update those activity links with my new activities for this week for Monday. So again, I'll tap on that icon. I will go to the three dots and unlock it. Then go back to the three dots, tap on link, delete this old link. So highlight it and click on delete to remove that. Open up Seesaw in a second tab to make copying those new activity links quick and easy. And just go back to Seesaw in this tab. So app.seesaw.me will open up a second tab of Seesaw for you. You can go back to your activities tab and go back to the new activity. So for my guided reading activity, I'll go back here to the three dots. Click on get student link. Click on copy student activity link. Once that's copied, I can close this little X. I'll hop back over to my other tab with my schedule and click back into that URL area and paste in that new website URL or student activity link. And then I'll click on the green check. So now this is updated for my new activity. And I'll go ahead and click back on the three dots and lock that back down. I can continue going through my post and updating any other activities that I have set up for my students to do this week for Monday. Once I'm finished updating my weekly calendar and the other pages as well, I'll click on my green check. I'll assign that to all of my students and click the green check again. And now I have that new copy of my weekly schedule for this week and to pin that post to keep it right at the top so it's not moving down the journal feed and getting lost for students, I can come right back to these three dots and now I can click on pin to top. This will put this little icon up here in the top left pinned and it will keep that right at the top of my journal feed and at the top of the journal feed for my students. So each day as they are coming in and looking for their schedule for that new day, they will be able to quickly find that post right at the top of their journal feed. For the next week, once you've repeated that process and made a new post of your weekly schedule for the next week, you can go back to this past week and go back to your three dots and click on unpin post. That will remove this schedule from the top of the journal feed and then you can go to your new schedule for October 12th and you can go to the three dots on that and pin it to the top. So you can constantly keep your newest weekly schedule up at the top for your students. Students may need to update their Seesaw app on the iPad to be able to see the pinned post at the top of their journal feed. Once they've done that, they'll be able to see that weekly schedule pinned at the top of their journal feed. Even as they complete activities throughout the week and submit other posts to Seesaw, that weekly schedule will remain pinned at the top of their journal feed. So they'll no longer need to scroll down the journal feed trying to find that post to get to the next day's activities. They can simply look back at the top of the journal post and move to the next day's post in that schedule to be able to click on those activities that they need to do.